Hi everybody, welcome back to my tech supper channel. Today, in this video, we are going to look at how to update connection using REST API. Why do we need to use REST API if we have a good console to update the connection directly? Maybe you need to do some CI CD feature, right? You want to automate your task to update the connection via some scripting then you will not use the cloud console. What you will do, instead of using the cloud console, you may need to do via some script. So in this case, you need to use the REST API to update the connection details. So let's look at how we can do this. So guys, before I start, I will ask everybody to subscribe my to my channel to get regular updates. So Along with the subscription, you also click on the bell icon so that we can get regular updates. Now let's get started and see how we can achieve this. So here, this is my Oracle integration and here I have created one connection with PP REST. We have multiple groups, multiple groups one is connection properties under connection properties we have a connection type tls version section connection url enable to be ssl identity for identify key store and security we may have multiple security policy we can use any security policy and we have username password we have another section called agent group so we may have a different different section in each and every type of connection so so whatever payload we will use to update a connection that will vary depending on the type of connection which we are which we are going to update. So I am going to take an example of this REST connection, which is widely used. So let's look at how we can change that connection URL, the TLS version, and how we can update the username password here. So whatever we need to update, we will update. And apart from the update, everything will be intact. Let's look at how we can do this. First of all, I am going to take you to this Oracle documentation, wherein you can see all the OIC REST APIs. You simply need to search OIC REST API and open the first link, which you will see in the Google search. So here under connection, we have an API called update our connection, which is of a post type. So slash IC slash API slash integration slash V1 slash connection. And here you need to pass the ID of the connection and it's a path parameter. How to get that ID? You need to go here and select this. And this is the identifier which you need to pass. And here you need to pass in the body. Like we have multiple things like adapter, adapter type, admin email, agent group ID we have multiple things which we can pass here. And then we have few examples here also, which you can look at how this actually API works. Let me help you. We have another API called retrieve a connection. First of all, I will show you how to retrieve a connection detail using that API. Again, in the path parameter, you need to pass the connection ID. So let me just take you to my postman First of all, let me just, okay, connection is closed. Make sure connection is closed, then only the API will be able to update this. So let me just take you to this, my postman screen, wherein I will show you. This is my postman. So with the API slash IP slash API slash integration, you need to provide the base URL of your YC instance. And then under that authorization, you need to pass the basic authentication. And then this is the get API. It will give me the details of my VB REST. So if I click on a send button, it will give me a response. So it will give me a text response. You can convert it into the JSON. So let's try to understand this, the response. So here we have multiple grouping. Like I have shown you on the connection page, we have a connection property section, security section, agent group section, and the response will come in the same manner. So you see, we have one group called connection properties. And under connection properties, we have many type of input field, like connection URL, type of 
a type of REST API and then TLS version. And some may be an input text, some may be a select one. So this response will give you each and every thing. So you see the under connection property under acceptable keys, we have the REST URL, right? Which we can pass. REST URL means, you see, this is like a REST API based URL, which I'm, I'm talking about this guy. I'm talking about this guy. This guy. REST API based URL, metadata catalog, swagger definition. So if you want to change this property with this value, then you have to use any value here, right? Let me again go back. You see REST URL, or you need to provide the property as a Oracle metadata catalog URL. So this is a display name, which is coming on the screen. And this is a backend value and this one or this one, this one. So you need to, this is the rest, this is the connection type. So the property name is the connection type and the value can either be rest URL or the Oracle MD catalog URL or the Swagger URL, right? Then you see, we can provide the TLS values as well. So it can be TLS v 1.1, it can be 1.2, but the property name is TLS version. So it is showing what is the actual value which we have set. And then connection URL and connection URL is my input text, right? As of now, this is the property name and this is the property value which is set. And then after this, we have like false and true, which is like enabled two-way SSL. So we have another property called enabled two-way SSL. If you need to set that, this is the property name, which you need to take and you need to pass either true or false. Then automatically it will set yes and no. This is how it works. You can see all the properties here. And then we have the security policy info section, right? Under this, we have a multiple type of option under security policy like basic authentication or auth right whether if you choose basic authentication we simply need to use pass username password if you choose auth two we may need to pass client id client secret so you see security policy we have this basic authentication set and security policy as a value and under this we need to pass the username and then we need to pass the password so this is for basic authentication and then if we need to pass this OAuth client credential, then you may need to pass the property name this or this and this and this. So we need to pass everything. But if we have another type of this guy, then we need to pass another set of properties. So this is how we we will update this. Now, I'm going to take you to this post, right? Again, post. So this is the same API which I'm going to use. And what I have done is, I already have this, right? Connection properties is the group. So you can take it from here. Connection properties is one of the group. And it is an array type, which you need to pass. You see, connection properties is an array type. And then here, it's like, your the name of the property which you want to update and the property value from where I will get this. You see this connection URL here also. You see this connection. This is a connection type uh, TLS version. This is a connection URL. If you want to change the TLS version, so what you can do, you can again copy this another property which you want to update. You can copy this and then take it here. And what I want to change. I want to change the TLS version. So as of now, the value set is 1.1. What I want, I want to take this property name. And instead of TLS 1.1, I want to change this TLS v1.2. Come here and let's change it. So instead of this property value, as of now it is oracle.com, let's say JSON placeholder.com. It should be the valid URL because it will test the connection. When you will send, it will set 
it will test the connection as well. If it is not the valid URL, it will throw an error. Okay. Let me do HTTPS and then send. You see 200. Okay. The things are done. Let me just take you to my screen. And if I open this, you see TLS 1.2 and this is the connection URL. Let me again go back on the postman and let me just try to put some invalid URL. Let's say ss.com. If this is not exist, then it will throw an error. You see, okay, maybe logged because the connection is logged. You cannot update, which is the, the connection is logged. Send. And you see, I'm getting four double zero bad request means verifying the URL is reachable, which means when you test the, when you test, when you hit the API, it will, along with updation, it will test the, test the connection. If connection testing will not happen, it will throw this error like four double zero <clears throat> bad request. The next thing I wanted to show you how to change the security related parameters. So same thing, what you can do, you can copy the same array and then paste it here. So and instead of connection properties, I want to use the security guy here, the security related parameter. So I will use this group called security properties, security properties. Oh, I did something wrong. Okay, I have not security properties. And then now I need to change the username password. I'll take this username, username, and let's see. Rahul. And then password. I'll say this password property here. So you can build this payload using that get only, right? <clears throat> Let's say password is welcome fun. Correct. So I need to again, let's say oracle.com. Oracle.com is a valid URL. Send. So you see 200. Okay. Let me go back on my connection and then we'll show you. And you see, if you refresh it, it will come on the top because it's recently updated. You see, HTTPS oracle.com user is Rahul and then password is this. So guys, this is how you can update the connection via the REST API. Guys, if you like this video, please like, comment and share. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get regular updates. You can follow me on LinkedIn, Twitter, <clears throat> Facebook, Pinterest. You can also see my blog, https colon slash slash www.taxsupper.com. Thanks for watching the video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.